Yeah, so disappointment comes um, in many forms throughout life, and in this particular subject, it's just so important to uh, to try to handle it the best that you can. I mean, you're disappointed. There's really not anything really, really great about that. Uh, but one thing to know is that God has a plan for what's happening, and you may not see it right now. You're faced with just being disappointed. You're being hurt. Things didn't go as you thought they were going to. Um, but try to redirect that energy into okay, you know, just trusting God, and believing that down the road something better is going to come and his plan for your life is still going to happen. Uh, one thing about disappointment that we don't want to do is getting bitter and getting jaded and giving up on people. Because here's the thing, we're all broken people, we're all really just trying to figure this out and to be disappointed and then to say, forget it, I give up, I'm done, like I'm not ever going to give my heart away again or I'm, I'm just going to get bitter, I'm going to become untrusting. You're really just hurting yourself in that. So when dealing with disappointment, um, acceptance is important and then just knowing that he, you, we have a loving father who really does have the best interest in our life and just because one door shut doesn't mean that another door won't open and that this disappointment won't be used for good.